Okay, here we are back in Dreamweaver and we are going to edit our newly downloaded portfolio. Over here on the right hand side, I can see that Dreamweaver has loaded my index sitting over here. And this is my portfolio file. This is the file that will become my menu. I'm going to go ahead and double click and open that up. And here is my portfolio. Now the first thing obviously that you want to do is you want to delete the writing prompts. Put in your own information. The date you started the program, please put in things like fall 2009 or spring, summer, etc. You don't need a specific date. This chunk that says date of last update, you don't need to touch for the moment because it will automatically update by itself. And last, your email address. Now, at this point, we're not doing a lot of decorative or design work on this particular portfolio. We will get into that at a later point. The only thing you really need to do here is go ahead and link this word midterm so that it opens up your actual midterm because that's the project you've completed so far. First of all, I want to kind of give you an idea. Taking a look up here in the upper left corner, Notice that it says index.html and it has a little asterisk. That little asterisk is a visual to let you know that you've changed this file and have not yet saved it. So as a good practice, I'm going to go ahead and click on File and Save. Now once again, what I want to do is I want this word, when somebody comes to my website, to be able to cl be clicked on and open up my midterm. Now a couple different ways to do it, but just to kind of get an orientation, over here on the right hand side I have my brains folder. I'm going to click on the plus sign one time and notice that I can open or close these folders. Here is my midterm.html. This is the file I created earlier from my PowerPoint. Once again I want to be able to create a hyperlink from here to here. These are two different files. Now multiple ways to do these things in Dreamweaver. I'm going to do this the most basic way which is I'm going to highlight the phrase midterm. I'm going to come down here to where it says link on my property inspector. That's what this toolbar is down here. Notice also I'm on the HTML tab in this property inspector. I'm coming over to the word link and I'm going to look for the yellow folder next to the word link or the line link and as I hover it says browse for file. I'm going to click on that one time I'm going to go ahead and just change my view so it looks like yours. My, my midterm is sitting here in my brains folder, so I'm going to double click into that. I'm going to double click into my midterm folder. Notice that I've got a couple of different things, and in fact, you might have your original PowerPoint in here, and that's fine. You're looking for the one that says midterm.html. Click on that one time and click OK. And when I click away, lo and behold, it looks like a hyperlink. Keep in mind, however, that here within Dreamweaver, you can't test it. You actually have to load this page into a browser in order to test it. Before I do anything, I've noticed that the page has been, sa has been changed. I need to save it by clicking on File Save. Now I'm going to go ahead and close this page, coming back into the original Dreamweaver. In order to upload a page, let me just give you a perspective here. This is the page as my portfolio sits currently. No work has yet been posted. So I want this index page to come and overwrite this page so that my menu is available. And that's what we're going to do now. I'm going to go ahead and minimize that. Here I am back in Dreamweaver and right under my site definition area I have the little tiny plugins here. I'm going to click on it one time and the little green light is a visual to let me know I am connected into the server. Now because I have never uploaded before this, if this is your very first time to upload, you can click on the first line where it says site-msct or msn overall and simply click on your up arrow your put files 
and it's going to ask are you sure you want to do the entire site and you're going to say okay now in my particular case it will not take very long because I do not have all that many files in here however your piece going up might take a little bit longer simply because of the size of your midterm once you have uploaded this for the first time have uploaded all of these files for the first time from this point forward you really only need to upload projects or individual files you don't need to do your entire um, site anymore after this so we're just gonna hang out here for a second more while this goes ahead and sends itself on up and there it is it's done now I'm going to come back into my browser and it looks as if nothing has happened but I know I just have TP'd this up to the server. The most important part of any kind of web design piece is to remember to refresh your browser. Multiple ways to do that. Up top on my browser line, if I hover the two circular arrows, or the arrows that kind of look like they're both coming and going, if I hover, it says refresh, and notice that it has a parentheses F5, that's the keyboard shortcut. So I'm going to click into my browser and I'm going to press F5 on my keyboard. Alternately, I could have pressed my arrows, and lo and behold, now my page is replaced with my portfolio. And if I were to click on my midterm, I should indeed get a version of my midterm. And that's all there is to grabbing a template, editing it, and uploading it. See you later.